Al-Adab al-Mufrid, The Book of Poetry Chapter on There is Wisdom in Some Poetry Khalid bin Kaysan said, I was with Ibn Umar when Iyas bin Kathama got up and said to him, Shall I recite some of my poetry, Ibn al-Faruq? He said, Yes, but only recite good poetry to me. He recited until he came to something which Ibn Umar disliked. Then he told him, Stop. Watarif said, I accompanied Imran bin Hussein from Kufa to Basra. Very rarely did he arrive at a place without reciting some poetry to me. He said, Allusions give great scope for avoiding lies. Obay bin Kaab said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Some poetry contains wisdom. Al Aswad bin Surah said, Messenger of Allah, I have praised my Lord the Mighty and Exalted in some words of praise. He said, Your Lord loves praise. He did not say anything more. Abu Huraira said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, It is better for a man to fill his belly with oozing pus than to fill it with poetry. Al Aswad bin Surah said, I was a poet and went to the Prophet, peace be upon him, and said, Shall I recite to you hymns of praise which I have composed to glorify my Lord the Mighty and Exalted? He said, Your Lord loves praise. He did not say to me anything more. Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, said, Hassan bin Thabit asked the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, for permission to satirize the idol worshippers of Mecca. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, And what of my relation to them? He said, I will distinguish you from them as a hair is taken from dough. From Hisham, from his father, who said, I began to abuse Hassan in the presence of Aisha, and she said, Do not abuse him. He used to defend the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him. Chapter on The Good in Poetry is Like the Good in Speech and Some of It is Bad Obay bin Kaab said, The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Some poetry contains wisdom. Abdullah bin Amr said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Poetry is in the same category as speech. The good of it is like good speech and its bad part is like bad speech. Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, used to say, Poetry is both good and bad. Take the good and leave the bad. Some of the poetry of Ka'ab bin Malik was related to me. It included an ode of 40 verses and some with less than that. Shurai said, I asked Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, did the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, recite any poetry? She said, he used to recite some of the poetry of Abdullah bin Rawaha, وَيَتِيكَ بِالْأَخْبَارِ مِنْ لَمْ تُزَوَّدِي And someone to whom you have not given provisions brings you news. It is related by Aswa bin Sarir. May Allah be pleased with him that he was a poet. He submitted to the Prophet, peace be upon him. Messenger of Allah, I have sang praise of my Lord in poetry. He said, surely your Lord likes praises, but he did not tell him more than that. Chapter on One Who Is Asked to Recite Poetry as Sharid said, the Prophet, peace be upon him, asked me to recite the poetry of Umayyah bin Abi Salt, and I recited it. The Prophet, peace be upon him, began to say, Hey, hey, go on, go on, until I had recited a hundred lines. The Prophet said he, that poet, had been about to become a Muslim. Chapter on One Who Disliked Someone Being Obsessed by Poetry Ibn Umar reported that the Prophet, may Allah bless him and grant him peace, said, It is better for one of you to fill his belly with pus than to fill it with poetry. Ibn Abbas said about the verse, The poets, those in error, follow them. Haven't you seen them wandering in every valley and how they say what they do not do? That it was abrogated and an exception was made. He said, Except those who believe and do good work and remember Allah much and vindicate themselves after they have been wronged. Those who do wrong will come to know by what a great reverse they will be overturned. Quran, Surah al shuara Chapter 26, Verses 224-227 to Chapter on One Who Says There Is Some Magic in Eloquence Ibn Abbas said, A man, or a Bedouin, came to the Prophet, peace be upon him, and spoke some eloquent words. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Some eloquent speech has the influence of magic, and some poetry contains wisdom. Umar bin Salam narrated that Abdul Malik bin Marwan entrusted his children to Ashabi for teaching. He said, Teach them poetry so that they will possess dignity and vigor. Feed them meat so that their hearts will be strong. Cut off their hair so that their necks will be strong. Make them sit with men of distinction who will contradict them in words. Chapter on Poetry Which is Disliked 
Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, said, The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, The greatest of criminals is the poet who satirizes the whole tribe and a man who disclaims his father.